Hi everyone, Dave here. For quite a few years I've been thinking about how can I make a Peltier or Peltier freezer. I know there's a lot of coolers, there's a lot of uh, cooler products you can buy, but they're not freezers. And I know somehow, some way, it must be possible to create a refrigerant-free, compressor-free, solid-state freezer that runs off of solar power. And that's what I've done here. I've created a bench test and I've created a prototype freezer that runs off of solar power and it actually did reach freezing temperatures for the first time. I've never actually been able to do that and I wasn't sure how exactly to go about it and it was quite difficult. This is actually the maybe second or third version of this prototype depending on how you look at it. And what you're seeing here has quite a lot of work into it. Obviously I'm using water cooling for this setup because that's the method that I have available and I'm using a small brushless DC water pump and I'm using a small tin of water there as that was what was most convenient at the time. And this is just one of my earlier tests where I was checking out the very first piece of ice that I made in my freezer. To me it's quite fascinating to see this happen when you don't have any refrigerant and no compressor. And it makes me ask what else can Peltiers do? The chamber is insulated. I'm using towels and just whatever I have and tape and whatnot and just different scrap hardware and bits that I have laying around. I would like to build something far more expensive and far more advanced but at least here I'm proving that it does work and it is possible. On the right you can see the temperature is down to 27.6 degrees Fahrenheit and that's amazing to me. No moving parts except for the fans and the water pump. No compressors, no refrigerant gas. It can run off of direct DC solar power even better. This video is part of a series about solar power refrigeration and air conditioning. The links to other related videos will be in the description. The object of this video series is to learn more about various forms of DIY solar powered refrigeration and air conditioning and to delve into topics that typically don't get very much attention. Lately I've taken a strong interest in Peltier air conditioning and even though it uses a lot of power and it generates a lot of heat, I can't really discard the idea and the notion that Peltiers can be used to condition a space. We already know they can be used for dehumidification and it's not really a big leap to think that you could use solid state solar powered Peltier junctions to air condition a space. And because of that I've been working for quite a while now on increasingly more powerful air conditioning setups and I will insert a few sample clips that I've managed to grab while doing this work. I will upload a separate video as soon as I can that shows the progress on the air conditioning project. Over the past few weeks I started a new project. This is going to be an actual Peltier air conditioner system. It is unlike anything I've seen anywhere on the internet or anywhere else. I now have two major air conditioning projects running if not three and of course I have that small solar powered window air conditioner that I built recently but that doesn't use Peltier elements. It's unknown to me when these projects will actually be finished but I will upload a part two to the Peltier air conditioning research project as soon as possible. A quick word about something that I hear all the time. I've heard it said that Peltiers are 5% efficient. In real world hands-on experience I haven't really observed that Peltiers are only 5% efficient when they're doing what they're supposed to do which is moving heat from the hot side to the cold side. Think of it this way, microwave ovens waste a lot of power but they get the job done and are in wide use. The word efficiency is often much misunderstood. Efficiency isn't just about how much power or wattage is put into the appliance. It's about how much it costs, how many moving parts, whether you can work on it or not and repair it, and so many other things. Here are a few snapshots from some of the recent work in my shop. I wish the video editing would keep up with all the ideas and projects, not to mention health and resources. Hope to get some of this uploaded soon. Please stick around if you like this kind of stuff. The last part of the video is me talking about the freezer in my workshop, but there is a lot of fan noise in the background. From my experience, raw unedited workshop footage performs really badly on this platform, but if the channel gets large enough, I plan to start showing more of it. The performance of this setup is exceeding my expectations. Basically, I want a Peltier freezer that's solid state that runs off of solar power and can freeze my food without using a compressor or any kind of refrigeration technology. It's currently running for a couple of hours now. I'm circulating some water over the Peltier element to cool it off because it generates quite a bit of heat. That then goes through a radiator right there and that makes sure that the heat is taken out of the water properly. Here's the thermometer showing the temperature of the ambient as well as the water and there's the temperature inside the freezing chamber. The purpose of this video is to 
to show that, first of all, a Peltier freezer is possible, and furthermore, it is possible to use solar power to run that freezer, and that's what's powering it now. This is all solar power. If it's possible for a bench setup like this to reach freezing temperatures, there's no reason why a product could not be sold on the store shelves that is an actual freezer and not just a cooler. And I wanted to show that that's possible, that it can be done. It's been on a list of goals that I have for a really long time. The amount of power going into this setup is right around 50 to 60 watts, and it's holding the temperature of around 27 degrees Fahrenheit fairly easily. When I'm able to, I'm going to go ahead and try making something a little bit better. Of course, I'm using towels and just whatever I've got to improve the insulation. Hopefully, I'll be able to find something better and purchase it as soon as possible. All related video and playlist links are posted in the description down below. Thanks for watching and hope to see you next time.